Greetings, everybody. In today's extra special episode, I'm going to eat at two different bootleg McDonald's restaurants. Okay, let me explain. Recently, I had the incredible opportunity to visit the country of Algeria. During a taxi ride, I looked out my window and I noticed a funny looking McDonald's, or what I thought was a McDonald's. It had the iconic golden arches, only something was kind of off about it. This McDonald's was not really a McDonald's. I tried searching for this place on Google Maps, and although that particular restaurant didn't have a listing, dozens of restaurants like it did. There is McFool, McPapa, McPiff, McKenzie, and of course, McDonald's. The list goes on and on, however, if I could just point out my two favorites. First is McDo Tennis with their famous tennis pizza, and McCool with their catchy slogan, I'm Lovin' Eat. The level of McDonald's um, influence goes from the subtle restaurant that just happens to have Mick in its name to others that just go full out and will even mimic the uniforms. I don't know about you, but I think this is really fascinating, so I just had to go to one. Greetings, everybody. I am in Algiers, Algeria right now. See, there it is behind me. And uh, I'm heading over to a bootleg McDonald's because in Algeria, McDonald's is not allowed. At least how it was explained to me. There is a rule here. The Algerian government needs to have the majority of the profits from a business. So they need at least 51% of the profits of a business. And with McDonald's, they refuse to that. They, they want to take the majority of the money. So because of that, there are no McDonald's. And there's a lot of businesses that you don't see here. There's not a lot of chains. You'll see like a few here and there. I think there's a few like Pizza Huts, but there's not a lot. You're mostly seeing Algerian companies. But because of that, <laughs> there are knockoff McDonald's, which I think is great. So I'm gonna go to one. This one I believe is called McMurk which is over by the hotel that I'm staying at. So let's go guys, let's go to McMurk. I get from McMurk, what well, you get at any McDonald's, a slice of pizza, a slice of cheese pizza, and it actually looks pretty good. It looks like it's real cheese on there. <laughs> you know, I think if McDonald's had pizza, it probably would be like, you know, some processed cheese. It's pizza. Yeah, it's fine. It's not like amazing or anything, but it's, it's decent. If it were available at a McDonald's in the U.S., I would order it. And um, oh, I also got... I'm actually using this to balance my phone. Uh, I also got a... Selecto, which is an Algerian cola. It's like their Coca-Cola. That is different. It has um, a cola taste, but also like a bubblegum kind of taste, a tutti frutti taste. Uh, I'm not a fan of that uh, bubblegum <laughs> sort of taste. I notice it in a lot of sodas, but yeah, it's fine. If you, a lot of people like that sort of thing. So if you like that sort of thing, it's like that plus Coke. And the pizza and the Coke cost 200 dinar, which is about a dollar and 30 cents something like that. So really, really, really cheap. Uh, the soda itself should cost more than that. You know, like McDonald's, it's not trying to be McDonald's. It's trying to be Algerian, which makes it even better. Actually, I think maybe for dessert, let's, let's head over to another place. I will be going to another non-McDonald's in this video. Don't worry, there is more. And this one is especially notable because they have an upside down M also known as a W. 
But first, I feel like I should mention something. I realize that the lack of licensing of the McDonald's brand might raise some eyebrows. Please don't be Mick Effendi. <laughs> I'm sorry. In their defense, I do not think that these restaurants are really trying to fool anyone into thinking that they are McDonald's. The vibe that I got from all of this is that these places are not trying to be McDonald's, they are just trying to advertise that they are serving fast food. And they are doing that by using what has become an international symbol for fast food. Algerians for a long time weren't able to eat at a real McDonald's in their country. But that's not to say that this symbol doesn't mean anything to them. The majority of these restaurants aren't serving things that you would find at an actual McDonald's. You see a lot of pizza, you see a lot of um, Middle Eastern food, but they do serve food that seems to fit some of the same values. It's getting kind of dark, but I'm going to head to one more McDonald's bootleg. <laughs> Watching out for traffic, sorry, I'm like darting my eyes around. We're going to Wonder Foods which is a chain, and uh, all right, I gotta keep my eyes open. <laughs> Be there in a minute. hotel because it was getting pretty dark outside and the place that I went to didn't have any seats. But uh, I got a to-go box of it and uh, this is amazing. It has the branding on the box of Wonder Foods. Wonder Foods is actually a chain, I, I believe. There's a few of them throughout Algiers at least, maybe throughout Algeria. And this is a dessert place. It's mostly a crepe place, but the thing I got doesn't look like a crepe. It's more like a pizza. And this has just like everything on it. It's got bananas and walnuts and strawberries. It looks like some condensed milk, some uh, pistachio crumbles and some Oreo crumbles, some coconut, some, uh, look, it's got like everything on it. And uh, it, it looks really good, actually. <laughs> this looks really nice. This was expensive though comparatively. It was 650 dinar, and it's like 150 dinar to a dollar, roughly. So about 450, which um, is a little high compared to the uh, pizza and drink that I had, but still, considering all the stuff on it, that's a pretty good deal. Uh, oh yeah, there's like Kit Kat bar on there too. Why not? Um, <laughs> there's just like so much going on with this. I don't even know exactly like how to eat it. I guess just like a pizza. Hmm. That first bite, really good. And I feel like the experience as I go on is gonna get better. The first bite was uh, banana, Nutella, chocolate, Oreo, condensed milk, walnut, and the, uh, the bottom. And I don't know exactly what this is, but it's got like the, the texture of like a lot of like little crispy layers. I wanna get some of this strawberry here. Mm, mm-hmm. It's a good strawberry. Fruit here is really good. I think that's because things are done on a, a smaller scale. They're all grown locally, not like imported in from anywhere, as far as I could tell because uh, things are really flavorful here, and that strawberry is pretty flavorful. It's gonna take me a while to get to it, but I wanna like eat this little Kit Kat thing in here, which I don't think is actually a Kit Kat. I think it's something else. Mm-hmm. That's well, good chocolate, too. I'm not gonna make a video that's like 10 minutes long of me just eating the rest of this, but let me just put a message out there to McDonald's that you could learn something from Wonder Foods because this thing is absolutely delicious. This is better than you know, a McFlurry by far. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I, I find this really fascinating. I love the fact that 
there are no McDonald's here, and yet people have decided to make their own. I don't know like the full story of it, just like what I've heard uh, and the reasoning behind like why there are no McDonald's here is because of like uh, McDonald's wanting to take a bigger cut. And I say like good, you know, as far as I know, like may maybe I don't have the whole picture, but from what I understand, uh, I say that's a good thing. McDonald's is everywhere. Every country I've been to, pretty much, I've seen McDonald's everywhere and uh, other major um, chains. And I think it's kind of a shame. I think it's, it's important for countries to keep their culture and not be taken over by these major brands. And some places are kind of like that. You know, I think it's okay that there's franchises out there. I don't have like really a strong opinion about it. But the idea of a chain having to play by the rules of the country, um, I, I think that makes a lot of sense. I think that is a way to maybe keep a minimum to that. Like I've heard that there are like a few pizza huts here, but it's not like crazy. That's, I think that seems fair. I didn't realize it when I was in Algeria, but uh, now that I've come back and had a chance to do some research, it turns out that there are now actually two real McDonald's that have recently opened up in Algeria. At least I'm pretty sure they're real. And honestly, when I found this out, I was kind of sad to learn about it. Although I was only in Algeria very briefly, it was very apparent to me that people take a lot of pride in keeping things local. I also noticed a lot of other businesses that had Algerian versions and uh, products as well that had an Algerian version. And although you could call some of these things bootlegs or knockoffs, that implies that they are inferior. But in my experience, the Algerian versions of these products and businesses has been pretty good, and in some cases even better than the original. So although there are real McDonald's in Algeria now, they're gonna have some stiff competition. And probably the best thing about an Algerian McDonald's are the cats. <laughs> I would like to give a very big shout out to Smarter Every Day and JMac. They are mega patrons over on my Patreon page, which I've linked in the description below. If you are not familiar with Patreon, this is a way that you can support creators like me and get some really cool bonuses in return, like exclusive content, early access. There's even one where I will send you cool stuff in the mail. You gotta check it out, and that is linked below. If you don't want to go on Patreon, another way you can support the channel is by getting a t-shirt, like the one that I'm wearing right now. This is the Durian Anatomy shirt, which is available in the description below.